It is without a doubt that Iceland is a beautiful place to live in. This is where you can have one of the most peaceful vacations ever. However, a few facts are worth noting. Some are pretty strange, so stay tuned to find out some facts about Iceland. Watch out for some of the strange ones. Tourism has become huge in Iceland recently, making this Nordic island country take in more than 2 million visitors annually. This is no surprise given that the diverse topography of this country will give you access to black beaches, blue glaciers and roaring waterfalls. And the most spectacular attraction of them all is the Northern Lights. However, we are here to see some fascinating facts about Iceland that we bet you had no idea about. There are only so many people. There is nothing as fun as travelling to a place that isn't overcrowded. Iceland can be the perfect place for this, as long as you stay clear of the Reykjavik area. The total population of Iceland is slightly north of 339,000, with more than a third of them living in the capital city. This leaves a lot of places to explore without congestion. Iceland is one of the most eco-friendly countries. Most of the power supply around Iceland mainly comes from geothermal and hydroelectric energy. In short, this country has clean power and a minimal carbon footprint. Icelandic scientists are even trying to find a way to harness more geothermal energy. And if they were to succeed, they could change the world. Icelanders believe in elves. According to a survey held across the nation, it was discovered that 54.4% of people believe in the existence of Huldufolk, invisible elves and trolls that live in the countryside. And amongst those people who don't believe in them, they are mainly open to the possibility. There are even small wooden alfhol, elf houses, built by people for the elves to live in. There is even an official elf school that teaches about Icelandic elf history. There is no McDonald's in Iceland. There was a time that you could dine at one of Iceland's few McDonald's restaurants. However, in 2009, all this changed, and the Golden Arches are not returning at any point shortly. However, that doesn't mean that there are no fast food chains here. Iceland is one of the safest countries. Violent crimes are very rare in Iceland. The last tragic crimes were in 2017, when the country was moved by four murders. In any typical year, the average of 1.6 murders and very few instances of other violent or drug-related crimes. Iceland was once covered in trees. This is one of the facts about Iceland that could be more idyllic. Before the Vikings settled, 40% of the entire nation was covered in trees. However, they had to cut down the trees to build homes and boats and clear land for farming. Only 2% of the country is covered in trees. But reforestation efforts are already in motion. There are no mosquitoes in Iceland. Mosquitoes are the worst at times. However, Iceland has never had any of these problems caused by mosquitoes. The entire country is one of the world's few mosquito-free environments. It doesn't matter what time of the year you visit, but you will never encounter mosquitoes in Iceland. Icelanders eat some nasty stuff. As much as Iceland is beautiful, they have some pretty disgusting food. However, it could be better. In fact, they are pretty famous for having good seafood and lamb. It is their traditional food that might bring about a gag reflex. The most famous of them all is halkalk, which is basically a fermented shark. They bury a shark underground for about 6 to 12 weeks, then hang it out to dry in the sun. People claim that it tastes like ammonia and is eaten with shots of unsweetened schnapps. And from time to time, you will also find them eating some smoked sheep's heads as well. There are no traditional last names. In Iceland, newborns are not given the same last name as their parents. Instead, their last name is derived from their father's or mother's first name. This is quite the culture they have there. Iceland had a peaceful revolution. As much as someone might think that all the revolutions are violent, Iceland's revolution was actually the opposite. However, it was reported little in the international press. 
In 2008, the country's banking system collapsed, unemployment skyrocketed, and the citizens were worried that supermarkets would run out of food. So, to protest this, Icelanders took to the streets, peacefully protesting with pots and pans, and they completely blocked all traffic around the capital. Ultimately, the Prime Minister and former government were forced to resign, and the people wrote a new constitution. Iceland is a egalitarian society. By this we mean that everyone in Iceland is treated equally. It is considered one of the most feminist countries in the world. In addition, it also has a long history of being very accepting of the LGBTQ community. And not only that, but 3% of the country falls outside the middle class. The temperatures here are very mild. The average high temperature in Iceland is about 57 degrees Fahrenheit. This makes it the perfect place to get away for the summer. As for the overnight average summer low, it's about 44 degrees. So generally, it never gets too cold here. However, we can't say the same about the winters because they can get pretty wild with freezing winds and heavy snowstorms. Babies nap outside alone. You will barely hear a baby crying inside a restaurant in Iceland. It is a shock to many people, especially outsiders. Still, it is common for the people of Iceland to leave their babies outside in their strollers. This is familiar all over the country, including places where the temperatures drops to as low as 20 or 30 degrees Fahrenheit. This is about minus 5 degrees Celsius. People in Iceland swim even during the winter. The good thing about having geothermal, volcanically heated water is that you can go swimming no matter what the temperature outside. There are many hot springs and Iceland hotels that come with heated pools that can always maintain the temperature of about 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Iceland has about 30 active volcanoes. Yes, that's right, there are 30 active volcanoes, and you can even see some during your trip here. And if you are lucky enough, you might even see one erupt. In fact, there are over 130 volcanoes in Iceland, with 30 of them being active. Over time, scientists have perfected their predictions on volcanic eruptions, and the risk to residents and tourists is minimal. There's a bizarre museum. Who would have thought that if you visited Iceland, you might get to walk through an entire museum dedicated to penises? To make it even stranger, the collection features more than 200 penises on display at the Phallological Museum. This even includes specimens that are said to be from mythological creatures such as trolls. Iceland had the first female president in the world. As we already know, Iceland is the top country regarding feminism, so it would be no surprise to learn that they had the first female president in the world. President Vigdis Finnbogadottir served from 1980 to 1996, and in 2009, Iceland elected an openly gay woman as its prime minister. Homemade ice cream is everywhere. It goes without saying that Iceland's unofficial sweet treat is definitely ice cream. Icelanders love ice cream so much that they can't wait to get in long lines for it daily, no matter how bad the weather is. But once you get to taste their homemade ice cream, you will know why these people love it. Iceland once hunted male witches. Iceland seems like an idyllic country, but it has a dark history. Just like the US and other parts of Europe, Iceland also went through witch hunts from 1654 to 1690. However, only one woman was prosecuted as a witch because men were the primary targets. Super Jeeps are a thing. Iceland is mainly made up of remote and rugged landscapes. And to get to some of these areas, especially in the winter, you will need a Super Jeep. A Super Jeep is a highly modified truck with a lifted suspension and oversized tires that allow it to cross deep rivers or dive through deep snow and ice. Most roads in Iceland are paved but off-road trails go into the central highlands. And thanks to these super jeeps, you can get to these places. These are some of the fascinating facts about Iceland. And yes, it is pretty interesting. Well, that's it for today. Hope you've enjoyed the video. For more fascinating facts like these ones, subscribe to our channel and hit that like button. Thanks for watching. See you next time.